They took away the prophet's dream For a prophet on the street Now she's stronger than you know A heart of steel starts to grow All his life he's been told He'll be nothing when he's old All the kicks and all the blows He won't ever let it show Cause he's stronger than you know A heart of steel starts to grow When you've been fighting for Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to J and B. Wait, no, K and K B at three. K and B at three. Now we got switched to three o'clock because we're the better hour. Um, why is three o'clock better than two o'clock, Kyle? Let's explain um, to him. Scheduling. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you know, it's also like I don't know. It's not. It's not the Halley train wreck. Anyway, so uh, oh, <laughs> this is brought to you by Hey oh Well. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the show, Matt Bossman, alongside Kyle Sellers. What is up? And Kyle is obsessed with his rainbow-colored, rainbow tie-dye guitar string. This makes me very happy that you have a rainbow tie-dye uh, guitar string. Everyone always, guitar always strap. questions me about it. Guitar like, strap. Uh, I was like, I just liked it. So, uh, you know, explain to the viewers and the listeners um, what you've been playing the past five minutes. Um, basically what I've been playing is one of our originals that we're working on right now. Mm. It's a song called mm. Daydreams, originally written by, uh, one of our guitarists named Andrew. He, um, he came up with a simple beat, just, or not the simple beat, the simple pattern. It's actually in drop D. So I gotta tune into that really quick and just basically like, so, or they like, Very, very nice. Hold on. <laughs> I broke it. Oh, uh, Matt, what'd you do? That doesn't work either. I guess so. All of our hot buttons aren't working right now. So, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> so, yeah. I am sweaty as hell right now. Okay, I just played not even an hour of basketball, and I'm like, I have more water on me than her, than Houston. And, uh, no, Ooh. just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Actually, Ouch. not really. Ouch. Sorry. Houston's strong. Anyway, so, uh, Kyle, yes. explain to me now. Remember last week we were talking about those bands that were coming to the Agora, House of Blues, the Grog Shop. Yeah. So tell me about a very unknown, what do I want to say, an unknown place to play, a very good spot for a concert that not a lot of people would think is good. And don't say Blossom, Um, because everyone knows Blossom. Honestly, for me, the last one I went to was Jacob's Pavilion. I never. Oh, yeah, Jacob's Pavilion in the flats. Yep. In the flats, and yeah. Honestly, I never went there. I didn't think it would be that good, but it's beautiful. Dude, I had a chance to see Slayer at Nautica. You know Nautica right on the water down in the flats? Yeah. So I invited someone. I'm not going to name any names. But I, in- I invited somebody, and I'm like, you know, you got me into Slayer. Like, you, I got they won these tickets for free. I'm taking you. And they're like, all right. So a week later is the concert, right? Yeah. And I'm like, hey, what time you want to go? He's like, hey, I don't know if I want to go. What? It's you don't want to see Slayer? I mean, like, come on. But, and we didn't end up going, and I never saw Slayer. Aww. I'm very sad that those tickets went to waste. But I won them. Well, technically, I won them. I think Tim from our advisor won them for me. So I'm very upset about that, but, you know, not that I won, but that I didn't go. Yeah. So uh, so what's been going on with the band lately? Anything good? Um, Honestly, right now, we're just recording a whole bunch of new tunes. So hopefully we have an EP out in maybe about a month or so. Cool, cool, um, cool. When right. that comes around, do you guys want to be on the show? Yeah, I've actually talked to the rest of the guys. They would love to be on it. Cool, 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 cool. And, um, 
Yeah, I'd, I'd like that very much. Yeah, it's on K and B at two. And actually, at um, tonight we're going to be <laughs> finishing up one of our other tunes. It's called uh, Charlotte, which was a tune that I wrote after some experiences happened a few months back, and it's, I'd honestly rather not get into that. Yeah. Um, I can tell you personally later. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Ooh, I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I was playing. No, we are it. not gay. I was playing it for my girlfriend. And she's like, you are such, you play so beautifully. I'm like, uh, thank you. That was one that I wrote just recently. She's like, really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, and she's like, okay, why don't, why don't you shoot it to uh, Nick, your drummer, and Andrew and Brandon, or and Steve. And they're just like, okay, yeah, let's do it. It sounds a little pop punk, but we'll work with it. Yeah, you could like. Um, is it a slower song? It is actually. Yeah. Um, so what you could do with that, coming from someone who likes that kind of mash, that mesh, yeah. and that mix up of like soft, uh, meaningful lyrics, meaningful beat to, roar, you know, just like basically going crazy. Yeah, that guy heard me. He's like, "What in the world?" <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, if you want to make it like, all right. So you look at Metallica, right? With nothing else matters. Yeah. You see how they kind of made that yeah, yeah with doon doon you know like the way that they just did the song no. never cared for what Kyle knows yeah I know yeah yeah I love doing that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but um but no I can actually play it for you if you like <coughs> yeah dude go ahead alright do you need another mic to sing or are you just going to play the tune no it's there's no vocals to it. no vocals okay cool okay so basically it just goes like this That is really nice. That's Thanks, a good man. song. Good song. Good song. Thanks, man. I like the, uh, I like, it's like calm and then it kind of builds up a little yeah. bit, then it comes back down and just calm. I like that. Thanks. I like that a lot. Um, you could title a song like that. I'm trying to think. My Tears Make a River for You. I don't know. Like, so I, it just sounds like something like, you know, like yeah. if you want to make it pop punk, usually that's more about 
feelings, emotions, that sort of thing. Yeah. So you could like kind of throw that kind of thing in there. You know what I mean? But uh, anyway, so. You know what? I might have a new name for it now. What? Tearful Heart. There you go. There you go. My tearful heart. Sorry, that, that, that was I had for you. Tearful heart. Yeah, yeah. So get out of my face, bitch. No. Anyway, uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So speaking of songs like that, I've been on this kick kind of with songs that are like that. And I'll show you one of my favorite versions of this song. I'll play it for you. It's Vermilion by Slipknot. It's Vermilion Part Slipknot. 2. Part 2. But it's not what you think. We'll be right back. To Major Tom Ground Control to Major Tom She seemed dressed in all of me Stressed across my shame All the torment and the pain Leaked through and covered me i do anything ever to myself Just to have it for myself Now I don't know what to do I don't know what to do
Yeah. Yeah. Won't let Kyle build up inside of me. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. 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 Honestly, I love when metal bands actually do something like that. Yeah. Yes, Matt. Tom Brady is softer than Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, Kyle. Are you sure about that? Do you feel in charge? No, I do not, Tom Brady. Yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's play this. Can you play along with this guy? Matthew Bassman, this is your catch speaking. I you need to learn how to log out of your accounts so you don't get emails sent to yourself and you don't get your fantasy football items changed. Thank you and have a wonderful day. You yeah. suck! You know, um... <laughs> it, it seems it's a reoccurring pattern. Every time I'm on the station and... You're loved. Every every single show that I've had this year with you, my deplorable show with Josh Walker, my sports show Beyond Question, I just really think that it's becoming... I wonder if there's a way to, like, hack the hackers, you know, a way to, like, get them to, like, like a virus, like a, like a virus wall to stop them from doing what they're doing anyway, because I know who it is, but it's like, come on, Tim, stop, just kidding, I don't care what you do, but you're not in charge, thanks, Tim, appreciate it, hey, Tim, when I see your face, this is what I think of. broken glass so here I'll make a little deal with you Tim if you can scare me by doing something like that I will personally pay you $30 to, on the hayrides you hear that he probably doesn't he's too busy I don't know alright this is going to be nothing else matters by Metallica ah!
Alright, well, we're gonna go on a short break here, so stay tuned.
to a place we call home You see me through I was alone in the dark And the fear was my truth Yeah, all the things that you are Beautifully broken alive in my heart And know that you are everything That your heart's singing tonight The light of the stars All that you are I feel wrong I'm so human and flawed I'll break down even though I'm still strong In time We'll make fools of us all Build us up and then laughs when we fall You pull me through When I'm alone in the dark and the fear is my truth And we are back. This man's just sitting on his phone. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yo, listening to the Goo Goo Dolls. I've honestly never heard that song, but I love it. See, I'm not a big fan of the Goo Goo Dolls. I kind of really grew up on them. Like, I was always obsessed with like their song uh, Black Balloon. Yeah. All right. I don't know, it's every single time I would try and sleep, I would put that on, it would just knock me straight out. This dude over here, he's like looking through the window. He's like, he's like, what's going on over here? Bossman, I think you have a fan. Oh, I do have a fan, I know <laughs> it. And uh, autograph is going to be 25 bucks. I could like cut off a piece of like my shirt and that's worth like $100. Because it has like a sweat stain on it. Or a wolfie. It's just like, it's like those uh, basketball cards where they have like a piece of the jersey in there and they're worth like yeah. another 300 bucks because they actually wore that jersey. Yeah. <sighs> That's the authentic. Authentic of the authentic. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm like, somebody sent me a picture of a conversation on Facebook and it's hilarious. It's literally this dude that posts stuff about like, single women and stuff like that and how he hates them and stuff like that he's like well, um, basically one of those guys like why are you single you should be dating me and then so he posts stuff like that all the time and i know him he's hilarious but he's just going through this phase and this one single mother she posted something that said you act like being a single mother is a bad thing and he just ripped on her like he literally just ripped on her and i'm like oh wow this this uh, uh this escalated very quickly very very quickly and probably unintentionally Oh, no, it's intentional. I mean... On her yeah. end, on her on end. On her end, yeah. yeah. Can I play your guitar for a moment? Yes. Don't kill it or I kill you. Yeah, I is, kill you! It's a song I've written in the past couple days. It's called the Matt Bossman song. Mm-hmm. 
It was originally written by me. I'm taking all the credit for this song. Yeah, Kyle went that sounds to like Lake such a classic. Leon, and he saw me and he went crazy. Mm. He wanted me to be Bane, but I told him I want to be a basketball player. Making him look at me. Yeah, look at me. I don't know. I don't. You know what's really weird? Every single time I hear someone uh, say basketball, I think of that song, um, We're Playing Basketball, from the movie Like Mike. We're playing basketball. We're playing basketball. We're playing basketball. Wow, that's terrible. Playing basketball. Basketball is my favorite. Um. You know, I remember when that movie first came out. I remember I went to uh, the theaters with a buddy of mine. We were, like, in kindergarten. It was his birthday. And I think there was probably about, like, six or seven of us, along with his mom. And we were just like, okay, what movie are we going to go see? We're going to go see Like Mike. I was like, yeah! Yes! <laughs> yes! When I was a little kid, I did not watch Space Jam. I did not watch any... I just watched Disney Channel when I was a little kid. And then... As I got older, I got into those movies. I'm like, how come I didn't watch this when I was a kid? I loved basketball right? growing up. Like, why didn't I watch this? You know, it's actually really strange. I didn't figure this out until about a month ago. Brenda's song from The Sweet Life of Zack and oh Cody. Oh, my goodness. I remember her. She's actually in Like Mike. She is? Yeah. Really? Um, uh, it was uh, Calvin and um, Murph's best friend. Really? Yeah, she was the girl. Really? How uh, old obviously. was she? I think she was maybe like 12 or 13. Wow. Getting it done early, huh? Yeah. Starting early. Um, you remember Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Oh, my Yay God. me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, from, from yay me to Sharpay. Sharpay. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Remember Ryan, the guy that always wore a hat? I loved him, honestly. I, I really did. I really thought he was like a swinger you know what I mean honestly if you were to pursue a career in musical theater I would definitely go and see him well, I would see that him would too definitely be worth I, it. I liked him growing up yeah. I really thought that uh, what was it um, oh Corbin Blue I thought he was going to have a better career than he's had because I have not heard a single thing about him since like his last movie which was probably like seven eight years ago same I mean, it was that uh it was that Jump Rope movie. Yeah, that was on Disney Channel. Disney Channel original it was, movie. Uh, remember the, I think the I remember the team name that they had. It was the Red Hot Chili Steppers. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. I dude, I watched all those shows when I was a kid. Disney Channel was my stuff back in the day, dude. dude you know what? I actually just rediscovered this morning. Holes. Oh the movie Holes gosh, with Shia LaBeouf. That movie was great. I loved it. One of my favorite movies. So much. There's actually a picture of. Uh, it's funny. Um, there's a picture of like some guy and he posted on Snapchat and then he posts on Facebook the same picture and it was like him trying to like flirt with this girl and he looks exactly like Zero. So everyone thought it was like, wow, Zero got old really quick and he's, oh. he's becoming a Mac Daddy or something like that. And everybody's <laughs> like, everyone's posting that and it's like, dude, I, uh, the shoes, the shoes that he stole. <laughs> Well, that's funny enough. Um, the guy who actually played Zero, he's uh, a recording artist right now. Really? Yeah. Um, he's a rap artist. Really? What's mm -hmm. his name? Uh, oh, I completely forgot what his actual name was. Um, you know what? I'll look it up. His name was Cleo Thomas. Hector. 
Dante Zeroni. Then you will come back to carry Madame Zeroni out the mountain. What is the song? If only, if only the woodpecker sighs, the bark on the tree was as soft as the skies. He cries. Wait. He cries to the moon, if only, if only. Oh my god, I remember that song. I remember uh, kissing Kate Barlow. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got, uh, uh, you know, Scott Barlow, the yeah. uh, athletic director here. Every time I hear his name, I think of her. And so I'm like, oh, Kate Barlow, she's the athletic director. Remember with the uh, venomous nails? And she yeah. Was, and she got Mr. Sir. Or not, yeah, it was Mr. Sir, right on the, uh, right under the eye. Um, she did that. She said, I love what the venom does to the color. And yeah, she, it's... Sh- just right completely his, yeah. smacks him right in the yeah, face. Yeah, and he got pissed, and he and she was mad. She was hardcore, but she ended up being like, wasn't she one of the heirs to the money or something like that when uh, Shia LaBeouf and Zero were digging for it? She the was, the but then um, uh, Hector, or Zero, he found out that, or he was able to read, and uh, the chest actually said, like, Stanley Yelness. Yeah, St- Stanley Yelness. Yelna spelled backwards is Stanley. I thought that was actually pretty brilliant. That was pretty cool. That was pretty, for a Disney movie. That was a really yeah. good movie. Like I'm not saying um, Disney makes bad movies, but Up. I mean, Up was actually pretty I good. I hated Up. I hated Up. They say the uh, they say the little fat kid in that movie looks like Kim Jong Un. Yeah. <laughs> they say he looks like Kim Jong Un, and I loved the meme I saw that it said, uh, uh, "What Kim Jong Un would look like as a fat American." And they showed him. And they shot, I was like, that's amazing. I'm like, that's great. But, uh, yeah, I just think, like, you know, Disney has a lot of good movies. It's just, like, Frozen I sucked. I, I hate the hype for it because it's, like, of course all the, like, young kids are going to love it because it has such a great message. But it was stupid. It was just stupid. It got a lot of hype. Too mainstream for me. Honestly, I love the voice acting that they had in it. And I love the music that they wrote for it, but the script that they read off of was nothing that I was something completely different than I was expecting. I was like thinking, I was like, oh, maybe this is gonna be like The Incredibles or something. Right, right. Which is a great movie. I still can't wait for the second one. But, um, but no, it was completely, completely different. Do you know how to do the, um, I don't know, near, 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 like, uh, there was a time when I was so broken hearted, love wasn't much of a friend of mine. Crying from Aerosmith, and yes, I can't tables have turned, cause me and them ways have parted. That kind of love was the killing kind. kind. Now all I know is the devil's in your kiss. All I need to know about the way I got kissed. I was crying when I met you. Now I'm dying to forget you. Your love is sweet, misery. Now there's not even breathing room between pleasure and pain. pain. Yeah, your product of making love must be one and the same. Yeah, I like that. Matt, you have some fangirls out there. I do, I do. Yeah, your product of making love. Oh, God. Must be one in the same. same. Cause what you've got in store. I can't go that high. I can't go high for that. You know what I mean? Oh. That was. I I love that song. That was probably. That's my favorite song. uh, One of my favorite songs by Aerosmith. Yeah, your product of making love. Must be one in the same. 
Cause what you've got inside Yeah, Kyle, I wanna see All I need to know about the way Kyle breathes I was crying when Kyle came next to me Cause he's so damn ugly No, I'm just kidding Alright, <laughs> thanks Kyle All right. I'll, I'll give you that one, that was pretty good Yeah, yeah But no, the one song that I think is better than that Was, uh, I don't wanna miss a thing Other than that, I love um, those two How do you play, I, I think I heard this song last week Play that, wait, how do you play I, I wanna, I don't wanna miss a thing I don't want and I don't want to miss a thing. thing. And even when I dream of you, the sweetest dream will never do. I still miss you, babe. And I don't, don't want to miss a thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Kyle, it's true. He is blind and he's stupid. <laughs> Thank you for... Air Kyle. Thank you for uh, being my co-host. Aw, shucks. Three o'clock, kick Kelly off again. I don't know. But anyway. All right. Well, you want to close out with this song? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So we're going to close out. But before we do that, here is some Aerosmith. Not that one. Hmm, 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 hmm. You tried. Good Shut gym, up. Tom. Good gym, Tom. Got good gym, Tom. Good. To well, I can't talk. Good job, Tim. Google Voice. Turn off the mics. Bye bye. Yeah!